Well, here we are nearly at the end of the newscast. Steve's retirement is just minutes away after all the years, all the forecasts and all the friendships. We can't let him go without a proper <laughs> goodbye. Steve, Chicago and the nation, they've trusted you for decades to give us current and accurate information, but also warm smiles and laughs. Here's a look back. I'm Steve Baskerville. Lightning could strike 10 miles away. Yeah, I've sure never did. seen any thunder snow, and that's what we were waiting for. It's hard to just get words out. The two inches of snow an hour, over seven inches of rain. You can hardly see Peoria on this map. We've got to emphasize that it's a confirmed large tornado that was pure summertime weather out there. As a matter Steve of fact, Steve Baskerville has been front and center for CBS 2's weather coverage for 30 years. A little weather humor before I tell you the bad news. Behind us and over to the left, you can see one of those huge. From breaking weather news. That was me covering the Plainfield tornado. To weather specials. Do you think tornadoes only hit small towns and cornfields. Well, that's a weather myth. Steve's done it all. He was born and raised in Philadelphia, attended Temple University, and met his friend Joe Terry nearly 50 years ago. And we were brothers uh, from that day forward. Terry has had a long career as an award-winning television director. He remembers Steve, then pre-law, asking him about his major, television. Can I be silly? Can I dance? Like you can do anything you want to do, Steve. It's, it's, it's television. Apparently, Steve could do anything. Hired by KYW, the CBS affiliate in Philadelphia, he even hosted children's programs. Steve Baskerville! And was on the news with a guy named Maury Povich. I was going to ask you the question of the day, where Steve Baskerville grew up, and you just West told Philly. 62nd and Master. Big 6-2 and Master. Look, Steve's high-energy, polished, fun-loving presentation eventually caught the eye of CBS Network executives. It's now seven minutes. In 1984, he became the first African-American network weatherman, co-hosting CBS Morning News with Phyllis George and Chicago's own Bill Curtis. I think he's the most professional, nicest, and talented guy I know. When you come in, Steve just always brightens mm -hmm. your day. He has such a smile on his face and his stories are just unforgettable. By 1987, Steve had moved to Chicago to become CBS 2's primary yeah, weatherman tomorrow, with the powerhouse team of Curtis and Walter Jacobson. But I'm sure of this, December will not be coming in like a lamb. That's because of how cold it probably is going to be tomorrow. Uh, right around guaranteed rate field. And I can give you a guaranteed rate on that. <laughs> All right, here we go. And the thing I like about Steve is I can throw him anything, completely ad-libbed. He'll, he'll start with it and he'll bring it back to whatever he's doing. Over the years at CBS2, there has been much turnover and numerous anchor teams, but the constant has been the steady Steve Baskerville. Tremendous mentor, role model, and I've told him this many times. I, I, you have laid out the foundation, the blueprint that I try to follow. He has a dedication to information because people need it. That's really a grounding that has lasted him longer than almost anyone else. So when we unfold it, we'll have one, two, three triangles. Yeah, maybe she will. But being the station's top meteorologist only partially defined his role at CBS2. Over the years, Steve hosted numerous programs. And always, on the bus, go. his playful, smooth personality shines through. I love this thing. I'm going to use it on a Kennedy. I see. Sorry. Ah. Oh. Oh. And even though I moved like a sack of pierogies, I was quite popular. And speaking of pierogies, how could I top that? Some of Steve's greatest moments have come live on location, like the Whiting Pierogi Fest. I tell you, what more we could want is just more to eat, right? Yeah. Right! The best part about him is that he's real. Who he is on TV is who he is off of TV. His son Aaron followed in his dad's footsteps. I always said if I could have half the career that my dad did, then I know I was a success. Steve is a devoted husband, father, and now grandfather. Getting kind of emotional right here, but first of all, I, I don't tell him enough, but I love him. And uh, he's my role model, he's my hero, he's the guy I want to... I want to be. You think in this business you want to be the center of attention, but for Steve, I think it's more about doing good work and having great friendships. Eric, I got him spoiled. We take him for granted. He is, he's so good. He's been there for so long. 
I can't picture the weather board without him standing in front of me. Right, and boy, I think you'll like what follows. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Wow, mm. that's something else. My goodness. No kidding. You know, you, you follow a tribute like that. I can't, th saying thank you isn't enough, really isn't. Uh, I have had an opportunity to, to work with the best broadcasters in the world, and you could tell from what you just saw. And Bill Curtis, by the way, was the one who said, uh, Steve, why don't you come to Chicago? I think it might work. And it worked right. for 30 years, right? <laughs> uh, he was really uh, right about that. But from the first day that I was here to my last day, you don't do it alone. You don't mm -hmm. do it by yourself. You have to have great partners. Mm -hmm. And Ryan and Rob and Erica, um, what I've always wanted to do was to match the energy and the love that you have for, for the job. And, and when I came in the next day, I always wanted to be better than I was mm -hmm. the day before. And that's all you can ask people. When you work with good people, they make you better. So it's teamwork. And the other thing about it is that I've gone from every part of the area, north to south, and I've been all across the city, and there's one thing that everybody has in common. Everybody uh, has always been kind to me, and they've always been ready to have some fun, and they've always been welcoming. And somebody thanked me the other day, thanked me <laughs> for being on the air. When I said, no, no, you got it all wrong, I have to thank you because, um, you know, it's my honor to be here every day because it, many are called but few are, cho mm. are chosen to be around for a long time. Man, One last that. thing I just want to say, you're blessed when you have a family that loves you. I have a wife and children and grandchildren that love me very much. I said this before privately to everybody who's here. Uh, it's another thing when you have another family where you go to work every day and for 30 years and they love you very much and they show it and then people have shown that to me every day. Uh, especially within this last month. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to everybody, mm. those who are watching, those who are sitting <laughs> beside me, those who you don't see that are standing behind the camera yeah, yeah, yeah. right over here yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, and I only have one last uh, request. Okay. Uh, can I keep the couch as a parting gift? <laughs> I think you're gonna rage it. This is Throw it real. in your car, you'll be fine. This is Can real nice. That happen? And yes. this guy approached pros, pros this, to the end because I thought for sure showers were in the forecast, well, uh, but he's yeah. holding it together. No, yeah. I have it, sort of gone through that already because uh, every day there's been some other emotional uh, re reaction that I've had to it because people every day have been making comments that stick with me, and um, and I won't forget it. You know, it, I, it, I know you wanted a quick lasting. departure. But yeah. thank you for allowing us, mm -hmm. your sure. co-workers and the viewers, yeah. to give you a proper send-off. I know you would have been out the door two days later. Right. But thank you. You're a thank mentor. You. You're a friend. And we wish you nothing but the best. No one like, like you, Steve. Your chats are one of the best <laughs> parts of my day. I know well, for all of us, we will miss you. Yeah. How fortunate are we to share the stage with him as he what an honor. steps well, look, into the, the sunset? Yeah. When you're long, around a long time, you have a lot of stories. <laughs> yeah, I, I walk around here all the time telling stories. Okay, uh, one you last know, but you haven't lived until you've had a picture of you behind you. <laughs> Where is that? Can you see it one more time? There he is. <laughs> all right, let's give him a yeah,